learned about teaching is the core of teaching can adapt. I mean, if you engage students, if you engage in active learning, you can pivot that to online synchronous, which is what I did for the past year, which was really a lot of Zoom teaching. So how did I start? I mean, initially, when we had to um, pivot to Zoom in March, I contacted a colleague and I quickly learned from her that engagement was all about. It was all about engagement. And as soon as I heard about the engagement, I knew I had to find ways to make sure I was interacting with students. Um, In the early days, um, certainly active learning to me is essential. And Zoom, I really expanded over time how I used active learning. Uh, I used case studies, but then what I did is had the questions from the case study that I turned into polling questions. The students loved that. We would break down the case study together, or I would stop and say, just go in the chat. What do you think about this? And then we do the polling questions. And with the polling questions, I felt there was a lot of involvement. When you're in a classroom, it's often the same students who teach. But with chat, with polling, you really got a good sense of what they were thinking. So as the semester went through in March, I was very uncomfortable with pushing uh, the buttons, with um, getting figuring out chat, figuring out the record. All of that became complicated. And as I worked on it, though, through the, that spring semester and then in the summer, when I enrolled in and took the FCPE boot camp, it just solidified and expanded the opportunities of things that I could implement in teaching right away. So in preparing for the fall, I knew that I would be teaching online synchronous again. I used the whole summer to prepare pre-recorded lectures that students could go back through. I converted a lot of the case studies I had to either share Google Docs that the students worked on and used as a study guide or had um, continued to really develop the case studies with polling, lots of breakout rooms. And I have to say the students really liked a lot of it. I got some good feedback from students. So as I went into the fall, I was a lot more comfortable with just the technology. This semester, which is the spring semester of 2021, is going so smoothly because it's now I've gone through half a semester, a full semester of the fall, and now into the spring. And every class, I'm changing up what I think about, how to make it engaging, how to involve students, how to randomly go in the chat. Uh, I've gotten much better at doing shared Google documents that people work on together. And overall, I think it's different. It's, it's really worked. So for me, moving forward, I actually like some aspects of Zoom teaching very much. In some ways, although this may be heresy, I think students can be more engaged when you engage in a forum, when you get an opinion through a polling, when you look in the chat, there's a lot more ideas that are shared. I think what was also important through this year of pandemic is to be kind to students somewhat. Um, I, I soon heard from so many of my students that they were frontline workers. They were going to school. Parents, um, family members were sick with COVID. So I think a little kindness goes a long way too. So I'd like to say it's been nothing I ever planned for. I look forward to coming back on campus, but I think lessons learned will be applied to my teaching going forward. 